former Ikiti State Governor Ayodele Fayoshi, as we all know, has made a very, very, very strong statement online. He said this in an exclusive interview he had with an OAP sometime of recent, where he made mention that if the president Tinibu Fox up, that will be one of the first people to react and speak up about it. Now, this saying or this statement he made, he really made emphasis on the president not doing his duty and him speaking up immediately. That if it happens, he's going to speak up. He said in, in this statement, you notice the seriousness of him. Him saying that he's a very well satisfied man and content, that there's nothing he'll be looking for and everything. That so there is no way that if he sees something wrong, he's not afraid of anybody and he's going to speak up. So you could actually see this. He said it in the video. Now Another thing he also made mention, he made mention that he was one of the people that fought Buhari that period, exposing where the man was and everything, that he has also got brutalized for speaking up against top tiers of the government. So, I'm, but I'm really happy that to some extent, there are some people who are really selfless concerning the affairs of this country. The, the country is really sinking. And even with less than 50 days in office of the of this current president, we can actually see a lot of a lot of um, tragic things coming up. The forty percent electricity tariff, the expansion, the extension of um, price of flight fares, um, and many other things. Fuel price pumping, and this is not the the progress we we um, promised by this government. Many people are saying that it takes time, it takes time, but at least we would have been hearing of, of nice and better um, bills passed. Nice and better bills passed that, that is going to ensure us of a proper government or a proper run. So please let us watch this video and hear what are you daily fire she said. Being in PDP, being in APC, what, to what end? I have gotten a fair share of life. I'm not looking for any de anything desperately. And I'm everything, I'm not watching brief for Tinubu. If Tinubu does anything wrong tomorrow, I'll be the first to come out. I'll bear my mind openly. My needs are very little. This country is bigger than all of us. It's bigger than all political parties. It's bigger than Ashwaju himself. He's only first among equals. Blessed of God to be in that position. Does not make, make him a dictator over us. If he's not doing the right, I fought Buhari now. I came out with early people that were saying, this man will, will, will wreck this boat. I said it openly. When he was hidden somewhere in an hospital, I disclosed the hospital in, in, in UK, in West End. I didn't hide. That was the time they hit me with something, a gun in my, uh, on, on my neck during the election. My sister, not all of us will be cowards. After having watched this video, Ayo Fayeshe, which is the former AKT State Governor, is very serious with this statement. He's dead serious with this statement. So you can see that not many people in this country, not many top tiers, a few actually, are not selfish. And it, it pleases my heart that there are still some people who, who take this country serving as priority. Who take this country serving as priority? Now, many people go into these offices for personal interest and, and not for the actual purpose of service, but for their own stomachs. That is why the looting and extortion is on the high side and the masses is thrown into abject poverty. The president said, let the poor braids don't suffocate them. All those ones will use gimmicks on how to buy the audience of the masses. That's wrong. He said the borders are open now. The borders are open, yet the price or the tariff or the VAT rather of getting your goods in and out of this country as a private sector person is on is, is really, really high. So what is the use of opening the borders when you cannot freely import and export your own products? That is, that is one thing to look out. We can see his convoy he used the other day, 126 vehicles. And you tell me that it is not only his own convoy that is there. So even if it is not only his own convoy, how many convoy are they meant to be using that should be summing up to 126? So you can see that we this this 
particular government is heading for selfish interest and not for the, they don't have you which is the masses at heart no they don't they don't do not take that you see that the, this um these people or this government they just did all the promises came in started writing bills up and down all the people he has appointed so far are people that are extra close to him in quotes yoruba men okay and and you see that when you see that there are people who who he owns yes there are people who he owns so you can see that we are not heading for a right track listen to what the former equity state governor said he said that if he fucks up that he'll be one of the pe- persons to speak up who speak up and speak up loudly to show you that to some extent he has supported the Tinubu government and it is obvious that the government is failing and is not up to complete three months the government of Tinubu is failing of which everybody can see and everybody can attest to it it is not it is not a new thing it's not something that you should be you should be surprised about right from the onset you'd know that these people will feel leave the fact that he made lagos what lagos is today it is a very huge difference between lagos as a state and nigeria as a country yes yeah there's a huge difference so please in whatever thing you do you should understand that selflessness is key and selflessness is another attribute that people should still hold with high prestige in this period the former governor of AKC states has started this motion saying that he will speak up and this is the mentality i will wish that every top tier of the government had everyone knows everyone knows the truth about the election the election the evidences are too obvious to be ignored but yet it is being suppressed and want to be swept under the carpet it is very very obvious but yet they want to sweep it under the carpet. The court is laughing over all the evidences brought forward. Why? Because they are in the palms of the person you are, you are, we are actually kicking against. We are imposed with the government we did not need. And so we have to go with the flow. And now, the former governor of Ikiti State, Ayodele Fayeshi, is saying that he will be the first to speak up. He spoke up during Buhari's period, of which he was... He started receiving abuses for it. He was he was physically abused. He was physically abused for it. So understand that in as much as for those who support this government, understand that they are that okay, those who are supporting this government, they should understand that this is not a government that actually care about your well being as as a people. Or as a country, no, no, understand this. There are clear facts to these things of which I need you people to see. So please let us be guided, let us know what we are doing as the people. The elections have been passed, and according to sources, it was is successful. So we have to go with what is what has been given to us, but in earnest. We should understand where we make mistakes and learn how to avoid them the next time. Thank you. This remains Nigeria Celebrity GTV. Do well to like and comment and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bells for more updates from us. Thank you.